In this beginning tutorial for Adobe Photoshop, I want to explain the uh, interface for creating or opening a new document. So if you don't have any work that you've ever opened in Photoshop, you'll have a blank getting started screen like this. As you start to work in Photoshop, this initial window will be populated with recently opened or recently worked on files. And you can see right here over on the left where it says recent. I just cleared my recent list so it looks like it's brand new. You also have access to CC files and Lightroom files. What that means is anything you store if you have a Creative Cloud account where you can store um, files on the Creative Cloud, you can access them there. And your Lightroom photos if you're working from Lightroom. What I do find kind of weird is there's no direct link to bridge here, but if you come up to file, you can browse in bridge, which is kind of um, Adobe's fancy version of Finder for organizing and browsing photos. But a lot of people have moved on to Lightroom and use Lightroom in cohorts with Photoshop, so I guess that's maybe why. Um, big one you would use, obviously, you could use open if something's not recent and you have it stored somewhere on your computer. Most of the time I would figure, at least for class, you're going to do create new, right? So we can click on create new and open up a new document dialog box here. And you have recently saved configurations, not files, but configurations like size, resolution, stuff of that nature. You can also save some predetermined um, documents, document settings, and then you have your typical um, photo, print, art and illustration, web, mobile, film and video. And what those do is those give you a series of templates that have the resolution and size and color space that's common to that particular medium. And if you look over here on the right, you have the name of the document if you wanted to name it as you're opening it, your measurements, your width and height, your orientation, portrait, or landscape, and new and recent versions of Photoshop, you can actually have multiple artboards. And you have your measurements, dropping down pixels, inches, and so forth. Resolution, right? Pixels per inch is most common, at least for us here in the United States. Your color mode, Remember RGB is for devices, web, screen, inkjet printing, laser jet printing. Um, your, this option right here, CMYK color, that is for professional or offset printing. And then you can select your background layer if it's white or transparent. And under advanced options, you have your color profile. So if I were to come over to something like we're going to create a print document, for example, you can see blank document presets. These ones along the, these first three here are standard in North America, letter, legal, and tabloid. These A4, A6, A5, and so forth, those are typical in Europe. Those are their standard documents, and you could tell it's inches, millimeters. Um, and if I click on this, you'll notice by default RGB color, but color working profile for us is o uh, Adobe RGB 1998. I believe we set that up early in the year, but it might also be the default for other users. And you can kind of click through. If I were to switch through a European document, you'll notice it will switch to millimeters, but everything else will stay the same. If I come into art and illustration, these are typically based on pixels, right? You could see pixels right here, although there are some with inches. And then again, similar type of settings. So let's say I did print and I wanted to create a tabloid document, 11 by 17, 300 pixels print resolution, RGB color, RGB, Adobe RGB working space, um, I can name it as I'm opening it, test project for example, and click create. And that is going to open up our document. Now over here on the right, your panels and stuff might look different. I'm going to go over that in a future video. But right now that opens up a 
brand new blank 11 by 17 document for us.